Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para talungan kayo sa mga problema ninyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa problems involving measures of position assessment part ng inyong mga lip muzzle. O pakinggan nyo mabuti ha, baka kasi mamaya sinasabi nyo, mami iba po yung given. Sundan nyo lang yung procedure natin at alam kong maiintindihan at masasagutan ninyo yung mga problema ninyo dyan. Okay? Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ng like button. O sige na, huwag yung dislike ha. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel or matagal ka na pero hindi mo pa napipindot ang subscribe button, e pindutin nyo na yan. Sige na, subscribe na anak. Or gumawa ka na rin ng account mo sa YouTube para makapag-subscribe ka na at mapabilang ka na sa ating mga subscribers. At syempre, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Kung okay na, simula na natin. Okay. The Mathematics Department conducted the quiz B with selected grade 10 students as participants. This was part of the Festival of Talents for the second grading period. The 20 contestants had the following scores. So we have this, and then we have the fine for quartile 3, decile 2, or second decile, and P40. And then interpret each measure. Since easy lang naman sa inyo yung mag-interpret, kayo nang bahala dyan, ha? E solve na lang natin ito. Okay, now to solve for this, ang lagi kong sinasabi, ang una nyong gagawin is to arrange the data, ha? So we'll start with the smallest data, which is 20. Okay, so we have 22. Next to 22 is 25. And then 26. How many 26 do we have? 2, 3. Okay, next is 29. And then 31. 29, 31. And then 32. Okay. So where is 32? And then 33. And then, dalawang 34, 1, and then 2, 34, 34, and then 38, 1, 2, dalawa din siya. Okay, and then 40, okay, 40, and then 41, 43, dalawa din, 1, 1, 2, and then next to 43 is 44, and then 46, 47. 44, 46, 47. And then, para mas madali tayo mamaya, lagyan na natin ng number ito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Okay? Para mas madali natin makuha yung position. Or kung ano yung nandun sa position, ha? O, let's start with quartile 3. So, tandaan ninyo na ang formula natin ay QK, wherein that is equal to K over 4 N plus 1. Okay? So, yung K, depende yan kung anong quartile. Since ito ay quartile 3, so we have Q3, 3 over 4. Ang N natin, dahil ito ay 20, so 20, 20 plus 1. Okay, so you will have here 3 over 4, 20 plus 1 is 21. Okay, let's multiply. Okay, 3 divided by 4 times 21, that will be 15.75. Okay, yung iba, akala nila, rounding off yung ginagawa natin. Ha? We are not doing rounding off. Ha? We are trying to identify kung round up ba or round down yung gagawin natin. Pero lagi yung basis dyan, yung median natin, yung pinakagitna. Pag mas mataas sa pinakagitna yan or sa gitna, it means you do round down. Pero pag ang position niya ay bago mag median, you do round up. Pero since alam nyo na ang quarter, quartile 3 is, ay 75%, 
So, mas mataas siya sa media. You do round down. Kasi ang sinasabi nila, oh ma'am, 75 yan. O, ano, bigger than 5 yung 7. So, dapat mag-add 1 ka. No. This will stay as 15. Kasi round down tayo. Okay? So, we have 15. So, 15th position yung kukunin natin. Which is what? Asa ng pang 15 natin? Looking at that. O, oh, eto o. Oh, medyo taas ko lang ng onte. 41. So, our Q3 is 41. Okay? O, next naman natin is what? Aha, D2. O, decile 2. So, we have your DK is equal to K over 10 and plus 1. So, yung K ulit, depende kung pang ilang decile siya, ha? So, since ito ay second decile, dito tayo. So, 2 over 10 and then 20 plus 1, ha? Kasi same data lang naman yung ginagamit natin. So, 21 iyan. So, 2 divided by 10... 2 divided by 10, okay, is equal to this one, and then times 21. So, that will be 4.2, okay? So, 4.2. Now, let's identify na saan ba ang ating D2, before or after. That is before our median. So, ibig sabihin, mag-round up tayo dito. So, this will be 5th. Okay, so ito ngayon ay ating fifth decile. So, this will be, what, D2 equals to, ano yung panglima natin? 26. Okay, next let's have P40. So, PK is equal to K over 100 and plus 1. So, you will have here P40. 40 is equal to 40 over 100 and then 21 na yan, ha? Kasi 20 plus 1. So, 40 divided by 100, okay, that's 0.4, right? Okay, times 21 and that is 8.4, okay? Dahil tayo ay nandito before the median, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin natin, round up. Okay? So, itong 8.4 will be 9. So, nasa 9th position yung kukunin natin. So, ano ba yung pang 9th natin? That's 33. So, our P40 is 33. Okay. That's it. Ganun lang siya for our ungroup data ha. O, pang 9th ay 33. Now, let's go to group data wherein we have this one. Maria conducted a survey on a daily allowances of his classmates as part of, wait, of his requirements in mathematics. And the survey was, sorry, ano nangyari? Wait lang. And the survey result is shown below. So, ito lang yung given natin. So, we have to take the less than cumulative frequency. So, let's start with 4. 4 plus 13, 17. 17 plus 9 is 26. 26 plus 6 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. Which means our N is 40. And then, for the lower boundary, minus 0.5 lang ito, ha? So, we have 70.5, 60.5, 50.5, 40.5. Point five and thirty point five. Ganon lang siya kadale. Now let's go to Q two quarter quarter. Quartile 2, ha? Ito ay depende kung ano yung given ninyo, ha? Kung ang K, quartile 3 kayo, ang K no ay 3. Pero since tayo, quartile 2, ang K natin ay 2. So, 2 times kung ilan lahat sila, yung N natin, which is 40 divided by 4. 2 times 40 is 80 divided by 4. That will be 20. Ibig sabihin, hahanapin nasan natin, asan ba si 20 para makuha natin yung Q2 class natin. Ang 20 natin ay nandito. So, this will be our quartile 2 or second quartile. Okay? So, that will be 50.5 for our a lower boundary. So, we have here 50.5. Ano ngayon ang frequency below or less than cumulative frequency below? That will be 17. And then, ito yun, di ba? And then, ang frequency niya ay 9. Okay? For the class interval or the size of our class interval, okay, you just have to simply subtract Itong nasa class interval natin. And then, plus 1 para mas madali. 
Okay, so 40 minus 31 is 9 plus 1. So, you have 10. So, our class size is 10. And then, substitute na natin. So, we have there 50.5 plus, okay, shortcut na hang KN over 4 ay ito. So, 20 minus 17 over 9, okay, and then 10. So, 70 Wait lang nga. Ang hirap i-control ng mouse natin ngayon. Okay. So, 20 minus 17. Okay. So, that will be 3 divided by 9. Okay. Times 10. And that will be 3.33. So, 50.5 plus 3.33. And that will be 53.83. Tama ba? 53.83. That's it. Now, for D8, kunin ulit natin yung D8 class natin. This time, our K naman ay 8. Kasi 8 itong nasa D natin. Okay. So, 8 times 40 pa rin. Same number of uh, data. So, so, 40 lahat yan, divided by 10 naman siya kasi decile na siya. So, para mas mabilis, cancel nyo lang yung 0 dyan. So, 8 times 4, you will have there 32. Okay? So, hahanapin natin na saan ba si 32. Okay? So, our D8 now ay ito. Kasi yan si 32, ba? Okay, so that will be 60.5 for our lower boundary. So, 60.5. Ano ngayon yung less than cumulative frequency below that D8? So, you have 26 and then yung frequency nyo naman ay 6. Okay? 26 and 6. Okay. So, 26 and 6. Ang class size nyo pa rin or yung I nyo ay 10 pa rin siya ha. Hindi siya magbabago kasi same data lang naman yung ginagamit natin. Okay. For our lower boundary, we have 60.5 plus yung KN over 10 natin is just simply 32 minus 26. K over 6 times 10. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? 32 minus 26 is 6, right? Tama ba? Okay. Ayan. 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 10 is 10. So you will have your 60.5 plus 10 and that will be 70.5. Ito ngayon ang ating D8. Okay, D8. Okay, now for the next one, for our last given, we have here P70. Okay, so you will have now 70 times 40 over 100. O, para sa shortcut, tanggalin lang yung mga zero dyan. Okay, so 7 times 4 is 28. So, asa ng ating 28? Nasaan? Hanapin. Wait lang natin ha. Ang 28 natin ay nandito din sa D8 natin. So, this will be P70. Okay? So, 60.5 ang ating lower boundary. 60.5. Tapos, ang ating cumulative frequency, 70 to ha, ay 26. Tama ba? Tingnan ko nga. Okay. So, ito yung nasa baba niya. 26 and then 6. So, we have here 26 and then 6 and then yung class size natin is still 10. So, then solve natin. 60.5 plus 28 minus 26 over 6 times 10. Okay, so you will have 28 minus 26 is 2. 2 divided by 6 is 0 0.33 times 10 is simply... What? 3.33. So, you will have your 60.5 plus 3.33. You will have how many? This will be... Ano ba? But, um, ayan. So, this will be 63.50. I know. 63.83. Ayan. This will be our P70. Ayan, mga anak ko. Sana natulungan ko kayo at sana tulungan ninyo din ako na ma-reach natin yung 100k subscribers natin para naman makuha na natin ang ating silver button. Kaya kung kayo ay may mga classmates pa, friends pa, or mga kamag-anak na hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, i-invite nyo naman sila dito sa ating YouTube channel at mag-subscribe na rin 
sila ha sige na mga anak ko at syempre wag kayo aalis dito nang hindi kayo nagko-comment dahil alam niyo naman yun ang makakatulong sa ating video na maap at makita rin naman ng iba sana auto comment na ha at laging tandaan let's spread the love of math and please share this one thank you bye